In this video, I'm gonna help you feel a lot more prepared for your next professional headshot session. I've got five top tips for you, plus a little bonus. And these are all really practical, simple things that you can do to make sure that you have extra kissable headshots results without having to bet big on the magical capabilities of your headshot photographer. For the very best branded headshots, ideas and inspiration, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell and you will be notified every Friday when I share a new video. If you're in the midst of planning your next professional headshot session and you're a little bit curious about things that you can do to take control of the planning process, this is why I made this video. I'm going to walk you through my five top tips as well as a little bonus for doing this. These are all of the things I advise my headshot clients to think about in the run up to shoot day. Get each one right and I guarantee you will feel a lot more confident when it comes to having those headshots taken on shoot day. I've had my own headshots photography business for seven years. Prior to this, I had a career in public relations and marketing. I've proven this preparation formula with many of my headshot clients as well as my selfie clients. So maybe now it's your turn. Tip number one, plan to sleep better for three weeks leading up to shoot day. Getting enough sleep is the oldest trick in the book for looking fresh and filled with vitality. If you're burning the candle at both ends, it's time to take control of your appointments and make sure that you get a lot more rest in the three weeks leading up to your headshot session. Reschedule that 8 p.m. Skype appointment. Make that weekend lie-in non-negotiable. Try to switch off screens one hour, at least one hour before you go to sleep and try and wait an hour after you've woken up before you switch them back on. Not only will a more rested you make a less anxious you when it comes to shoot day, it's going to show that you've had a lot of rest. Your skin cells will be a lot more glowing and you'll have a little more of a sparkle in your eyes. Tip number two, feed your heart and soul for two weeks in the run up to shoot day. Can you add any more daily water in your intake? Do it. Can you switch out that takeaway with a home cooked meal? Cook it. Can you think about cutting out foods that you know make you bloat as well as reduce your alcohol consumption for the two weeks leading up to shoot day? You know what you put in your mouth. So you need to think about the foods that make you feel bad and the foods that make you feel good. Eat more of the latter. Tip number three. Take extra variations of your outfit. It doesn't matter whether you've decided to go for a really quick, low fuss headshot service or a more complicated one, my advice here is basically to over prepare. A good rule of thumb is whatever your photographer has told you to bring, try and double it. The reason I'm telling you this is that sometimes certain fabrics just read really bad. You can't predict it. Sometimes they won't work great under flash lighting. Sometimes they don't look great in the natural daylight. And if you haven't got a spare garment to switch it out, you're going to regret it because that garment is going to be on your body in every single one of your headshots. Double up your shoes. So if you're going to take one pair, take another pair. If you're going to take two pairs, take four and up and up and up from there. Another good thing to pack is all of your work accessories. So if you work from a laptop, bring that. Make sure that it's been cleaned. Same goes for your phone, headphones that go into your phone. Any little gadgets and things that you use regularly in work are going to help. Even if you just use them in a few frames, it's great to have those options when it comes to selecting your images after your headshot set. Give me a quick like right now if you feel like you're a lot more prepared for your next headshot session. Tip number four, know your logistics. When a photographer gives you a call time, that is the time that they've budgeted to start taking photos. You plan out in advance how long it's going to take for you to get to the call time location. You're looking to arrive 10 minutes before the call time starts. 
A lot of really good photographers have to be extra strict when it comes to timing. They're using time to create money, so every single minute counts on a photo shoot. Ask your photographer in advance of the exact route that you're going to be taking if you're out on location and you're walking around capturing headshots. A great way to prepare for this is to take some comfy shoes to change into when you're walking, as well as any extras like cold water and a fan if it's going to be a hot day, or an extra layer to wrap up if it's going to be cold. Tip number five, look in the mirror for a week leading up to your shoot day. For the whole week leading up to your shoot day, I want you to spend between two and ten minutes every single day looking at yourself in the mirror. I promise you that this works. This is all about muscle memory. You're going to be doing work while you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You're trying to remember in your head what it feels like to hold your face in different positions. This could be a very serious smize, a big smile, closed mouth smile, or poses to that effect. This is going to help you massively with confidence when it comes to shoot day. Sometimes what we think in our head is a great face actually looks pretty naff. So you need to know a few different variations compared to your usual selfie pose. To see how to maximize the results of this headshot session that we're planning for, I have made a headshots return on investment checklist. This is the checklist to download to make sure that you use your headshots in all of the right ways to get a clear return on your headshots investment. To get your free copy, see the link in the show notes. Bonus tip number six is tell all of your vanity secrets to your photographer before the shoot day. Part of recruiting a headshots photographer is to see how comfortable you feel around them and the reason I'm telling you to do this is because you want to be in a place where you feel comfortable being vulnerable with your headshots photographer. If you don't feel like you can open up properly to your headshots photographer about all of the things that make you feel less than 100% confident, you probably haven't booked the right headshots photographer. Being really open and honest with your headshots photographer well in advance of shoot day about the things that you have hang-ups about when it comes to your physical appearance will give your headshots photographer plenty of time to plan around all of your little self-confidence triggers. The very act of sharing your posing weaknesses and physical hang-ups with your headshots photographer is going to feel like a weight has lifted off your shoulders. So doing this in advance of shoot day is already going to make you feel a lot more prepared. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could share it to your friend who you know has a headshot session coming up. Don't forget to subscribe and then comment below with any of your special tips to getting ready for a headshot session. Mm. Come